Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Synthmaster 1 and we're going to do a quick programming tutorial using only a pulse wave. So I have an initial sawtooth here. I'm going to choose waveform here and just choose pulse. Now you won't hear anything until you adjust the phase. So we're going to use this this part of the wave. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. I'm going to make some adjustments to the amp envelope first before anything else. So a little bit of release. Just for now. And then the mod envelope underneath I'm going to assign initially just assign to this cutoff here. It's quite easy to do. We go into our mod matrix. Now I'm going to use source number three to start with and go with LFO, um, sorry, envelopes and choose mod envelope as the source here. And then the target, I'm going to go with filter one, cut off here and then give it an amount and we can watch it work. We need to switch the filter on to be able to hear it. Okay, and we'll turn the volume down a little bit more. Now we can control the cutoff filter here with the envelope. Let's take the sustain down. We get a nice plucky sound. Take the sustain down on the amp envelope, so it, and then take the decay up. And then we can have a look at our wave again. Well, we can play with the phase. It's quite nice. Take off tiny, tiny bit of attack. That'll do. Okay, that's quite nice. Now I'm going to use an LFO now to modulate the phase, which will sound quite nice with what we're going to end up with. So easiest way, I well, I guess we can just grab hold of this, or should we use LFO two? Mm, yeah, let's use LFO two. I'm going to grab hold of this and just drop that onto the phase. plucking sound there and of course we can play with the phase and the amount which is the volume we can add a little bit of noise in if you want to which might sound quite nice or we can adjust the phase and then the speed of that Quite nice. <clears throat> we could have a look at the sub. Take it down to a minus seventh here, yeah? you know, negative seven. Or let's go down a full um, one octave. Make sure we're not right on it there. There we go. Okay. We could change the waveform, but let's leave it as a let's leave it as a sine wave. And so it's still only using one oscillator. So it's probably all we'll need. Okay. So now we're 
now we can look at our effects here and we want some a little bit of reverb so it's more like a room some modulation but you won't hardly hear it but and then some delay switch that on now let's change the actual left and right delay so we'll switch pong on if you're wearing headphones you'll hear that let's change this to um let's do it with the fingers uh, to one eight dotted for the right and one quarter dotted for the left. Okay, and now we can adjust the feedback. So this is going to sound quite nice when we now put some arpeggiating it, but we're going to leave it in sequencing mode. So what I'm going to do is going to go to something like so I'm just going to program in some notes. So to do that, we just need to switch our ARP on and we're in sequence mode. But if we hit our little ARP again, you'll see this lights up brighter. And that means now we can program in and we're on eight steps. So let's put that on to 16 steps now. And then we'll change the base time, that's the base resolution, once we program the notes in. So now we're ready, with just, we, all we need to do is play some notes in on our MIDI keyboard, and it's gonna record it into the ARP. So if we stop that now, but switch it back on, and we just hold one note. Now, because of the way we've got the delay set, that sounds really cool. We can go and look at this and see what's going on. And of course, we can go back to our uh, base time here. We could go, well, okay, well, let's have this as a 1-8 dotted as well. or a 16th. Now you're hearing this is kind of like very tangerine dreamy kind of Berlin school type. And I'm only playing one note. So, and if we... sorts of options like choosing two octave range that would be more logical if you were using it as a, an arpeggiator of course so the bass range is not going to make a lot of difference because we've programmed in our arp adjusting the cool thing now adjusting the modulation envelope for the filter gives us some really nice effects <clears throat> so now maybe we can try and modulate this with um, LFO one which hasn't been assigned to anything yet so let's go into our mod matrix here. Let's uh, have a look at two. So the source will be LFO one and the target will be um, mod envelope one and decay time. So this here, so now we can Go back into our 
mod matrix a sec and we need to give this something to do so we need to increase the amount we can go negative Bipolar. And all with this very cool. Let's change the index and the phase. And this is all with one oscillator. We can still open, we can set the level here. How cool is that? So all we need to do now is hit save and we'll go save preset as and I will just call it, um, let's see, preset name. I'll call it um, Berlin Sequence like that and then we just go save and we're done and that's it. we can slow our speed down as well of our LFO uh, one as well so so we're not having quite the impact here There you go top job cool beans guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron and i will see you guys later yeah nice it's top stuff <laughs>